and just trying to get everything set up. To the story, like I'm okay. All right, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. I'm just trying to get everything set up real quick. Uh oh. I'm trying to get everything set up real quick. That is the wrong picture. Uh oh. I'm trying to get everything set up real quick. That is the wrong picture. Uh oh. I'm trying to get Sound is working. I feel like I have to have uh um <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure the sound is working, y'all. I'm on the right page today because I feel like I gotta have a checklist every time I come on here now. Make sure the sound is working. Make sure I'm on the right uh Facebook page that we streaming on. So how y'all doing tonight? It's Saturday, okay? We done made it, it's been a long week. Y'all forgive us. We were supposed to be on here with you last night, but we hit today okay but tonight we're gonna make some parmesan crusted fish so i have three packs of these okay <coughs> they was on sale and i wasn't feeling good last night i was in the store yeah. i don't even know how i even she picked got up. a headache i don't even know how i was even able to manage to figure out what we was going to eat for dinner because y'all it, it was a struggle the struggle was real when they say don't go to the don't go to the grocery store when you're not feeling good or when you are tired yeah because what we about to make tonight is going to come together like you never like you never left each other and then we'll make some squash listen don't don't turn your nose up y'all you already know how we do with the squash case of rope we're going to add some cheese to it and some onions and put it in the oven. And it's going to be nice and bubbly. Nice and hot. Okay? Y'all already know. So don't do not do that. Don't turn your nose up. Um, we're going to make some lemon rice because we're eating seafood. So I figured that could go good together. Mom? What y'all think? Some lemon rice? And Emmy has some potatoes left over from the other night. So if they want the potatoes versus the rice, they can eat this. But we have a lot to do tonight, y'all. Hopefully, we won't be in this kitchen. Because last night, last time we was on live, we was on there for four hours for our whole Sunday dinner. But it was a lot. It was the meatloaf. It was the homemade biscuits. It was the green beans, the instant pot green beans. We had, can't even remember. So, make sure y'all check out all our videos. Welcome, if you're new to our channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're about to go ahead and get cooking, okay? Get up. Okay. Can I get off of it? Alright, so I'ma put the fridge, I'ma put the fish back in the refrigerator, you guys, so it can stay cold. We're gonna go ahead and start on the squash casserole first so they can go in the oven. But how y'all feeling out today? Is anybody out in the streets right now? Been in the streets today? What y'all been doing today? It's so nice and breezy. Oh my goodness. It's so nice, y'all. So, um, yeah, it's so nice, y'all. All right, so let me move some of this stuff out the way. I'm still holding on to this piece of onion from Sunday. I told y'all I had that other piece of onion. So we're going to use this up, too. And I'm just going to leave these on the counter so they can get uh, room temperature. 
But did y'all make any fish yesterday? For the squash casserole, I don't peel the, the skin. We just gonna peel the tip of it off. So the ends. I'm just gonna take both of those ends off and toss it in the trash. And this way, I I doubt it's gonna be any fish left over tonight. I can already say that because it's really just enough for tonight. But I'm quite sure it's gonna be some leftover sides. We'll, we'll figure that out tomorrow as far as what dinner's going to be. I don't know. But what y'all cooking good today? Hmm. On this good Saturday, 60 degrees. Well, it's almost 70 degrees here in Maryland today. But I really wish I could have been outside all day. Daddy been at work. So he is and then resting and then i'm just going to cut these squash up into like little um slithers rounds okay they're gonna be real good y'all you know we won't steal your wrong okay y'all know we make these good old southern side dishes these soul food side dishes we're gonna make them taste good and we're going to try to we got some new, you know, ideas to make. Not just the same broccoli or corn or the green beans or greens. Switch it up. You know how we say, switch it up. But, um, did you guys watch our whole live from last week with the Sunday dinner? Or the one before that, the taco video? I've been having a taste for some fish so i was like you know what it kind of worked out i'm tired of chicken <laughs> i'm tired of beef we tired of turkey so when, when all else fails just go to some fish and these are so soft you pretty much can just glide your knife right through it y'all nothing to it but as you're watching you guys make sure you go ahead and give us a like you know hopefully by now you know the routine but if you don't go ahead and hit that like button for us you guys we work really hard trying to come up with these recipes you know spending time with you in this kitchen on this good friday when this good saturday so all we ask you to do is hit that little button okay on youtube it's right above um the description box and on facebook is right on the side you won't see it okay you can't miss it and you can comment with us right now we can see your comments so if you're gonna ask us a question or just say hello you're in the building let us know y'all okay but everybody's in the house you know feeling good i'm glad nobody's in here really dealing with allergies right now let me not jinx it <laughs> do y'all have does anybody out there have allergies real bad and you know in this weather this is that feel good weather but it's also that oh my god i'm about to be sneezing and coughing taking all this allergy medicine too right This is one of our popular recipes on our YouTube channel, you guys. So, um, if you haven't seen us make this, and we make it, we make it different ways. So tonight I'm gonna make it the simplest version, my right? the simplest way. And then look at all, all this squash. You see it and broke down. It's real nice, okay. And we are gonna put it in this pot, and it's all gonna fit in here. We are gonna cook it all down. I already heated the oven up tonight on, so we're going to need it for pretty much everything. So I have it on 375. And then I'm going to scoop, scoop these onions over. I'm going to use up this, um, the onion that I already started first. That way I don't have to waste nothing. 
but I was debating if I was going to do this video as a regular video or come on here this way. So you see, here we are, right? <laughs> and then for these onions, you're going to slice them. I feel like y'all can't see what I'm doing. So let me bring y'all over some. Is anyone watching Coachella out there right now? You know, it's that time of the year where, you know, they come out and do like this big concert on YouTube. It's like a four day event, but I like it because for me, it's like a free concert. You don't have to buy any tickets. Okay. You don't have to be in a crowd full of people, um, especially like if you have anxiety. So, if you like one of those type of people, you just watch it on, watch it on TV. It did give you a whole lineup of, like, the artists. And you pretty much just see the schedule and um, you just wait for them to come. But the favorite people, like the most popular people, your, the celebrities, the artists, they'll be later on in the day. What they call headlines. So, um, yeah, it's really cool. So, if y'all see that out there. You know, check it out. So that's what I, I actually just been watching that today. I didn't watch it yesterday, but I mean, of course, you're not gonna sit there all day and watch it. But if you are in the house right now and need something good to watch, y'all check that out. Okay, but hey, you guys, hey, everybody. If you're again you're new to our live, we do go live. I'm trying to get us back. Well, I am trying to get us on a good live schedule. We do go live on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. So we are here tonight. And right now I'm just cutting up some onions so we can make our cheesy squash. try to get y'all some good things to eat and you know it's the weekend of course you want some quick meals you don't want to spend all day in the kitchen cooking you more so just maybe want to eat out that's fine that's fine so we're going to give y'all a little bit of best of both worlds and i'm just cutting up this last one and if it looks like it's a lot of onions that's fine you guys because they're going to shrivel on down you already know how onions are. They wanna um they wanna get small, okay? Try not to cut my finger. <laughs> Got one little piece. I made some biscuits this morning. Did you guys see I post? I posted those muffin biscuits, y'all. Those were so cute. They actually taste real good too. I know you're probably thinking like because it's in a muffin shape that they're probably more dense. But no, it wasn't. It was nice and fluffy still. Okay, y'all. So make sure you check. Um, so, yeah, so I want to, you know, I'm going to bring you guys the actual recipe on here. So I just wanted to show you the picture of it earlier. And then the last time we was on here, I told you guys that we're going to be having... The, the membership where you can sign up for our membership for $1.99 a month on Facebook. So that'll be like the type of recipe that we'll share with you guys and have like an exclusive live video like we're doing today. But specifically for those type of dishes that you may not see the whole video on the, the actual feed that you guys see all the time. Alright. So I'm going to try to bring you over. I want to bring y'all over here closer so that way you can see. And then Daddy and the kids already ate. He um had a nerve, had a nerve, y'all, <laughs> to bring in some Chipotle because he asked me if I had wanted some Taco Bell a little while ago. And I was like, no, I'm not really hungry because we go through this all the time. It's like a Chipotle board. I have a Chipotle by my job. So every week or... I try not to go there all the time, y'all, but you already know. If you have one in walking distance, it's healthy, it's fresh, you're going to want some Chipotle. So, they always mess with me. Look, they can go. You done went to Chipotle again. Well, now they, when they ask me what I had for lunch. So, they be like, okay, 
So today I was like, well, nah, I don't want no Taco Bell because I had Chipotle yesterday. This man going to come in here and he's like, I got some Chipotle. I said, y -y -y see, you already knew you was going to get the Chipotle. So it's just so funny with us. We have a dad going food wars up in here. Okay. But um, they also had some curry out with some uh, fried chicken and some rice with the gravy. Y'all know the, the curry out gravy be having some of the best gravy with the rice. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And the mambo sauce and the chicken. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to be trying not to talk to y'all too much the whole time so we can get the work done because I told you we're not going to be in this dang on kitchen all day all night long and if you see me on my laptop i'm just trying to rotate between um facebook and youtube you guys so i can see your comments because i can't see because i'm recording on the phone so if you see me moving back and forth that's what i'm doing okay all right so you're gonna need some butter i just bought a whole new box and we pretty much use either this the sweet cream butter or the curry or gold the curry gold butter so I'm just gonna pull um, a stick of this out and go ahead and cut your pan on Let me see. and you can be one? generous with the butter you guys because um, you know you're gonna cook this squash down first so I normally take about this much to start no, out is with. Is this squash or lemon? Yes, yeah, squash. So that was about three tablespoons of butter if you really wanted to know the measurement on that. But we're going to let that just melt on down. Mom, mm -hmm. I like raw squash. No, you don't. Yeah. I even like cooked squash. Mm -hmm. I even like cooked squash. Yeah. Now, squash makes. I didn't put it in my mouth. No, no, no. You eat that. Y'all see, this is the thing. She comes, she'll come in here and try to eat the squash, and then don't want it. Don't want it at all. Oh, you know what? Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. See, look. I'm messing up already. Here I go. I normally do the onions first. <laughs> no, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. We'll put the butter back in here. Now I ain't see that. Okay. <laughs> That's why I say, you guys, this is the real behind the scenes, okay, when we do the lives because you won't see everything raw and unedited. So that's why I love you guys to come over here so you can see the whole process. Because I'm quite sure y'all do that too. You do it too. You make the mistake, forget what you're supposed to be doing in the order in which you're supposed to be doing it, and then you got to fix it, right? So luckily, I didn't go ahead and season everything. You just see me put it in here and then take it out. And then that whole stick of butter is right there too. Hey, mama. I really want to bring y'all closer, but the way that the camera is, then I got to keep putting it back. Are y'all okay with the camera being right here or do you want to see it more in the pot? Yeah, more in the pot. Let me know, okay? Mom, do you want to see it more in the pot? Hmm? Do you want to see it more in the pot? Look, I ate it. Look. Okay. So, no, you eat it. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna put the onions in here. Look, I want to put one too. Mm -mm. You are out, cause I told her she's not coming in the kitchen today. Sometimes she don't, she don't be knowing how to act. Sometimes, y'all. Okay. What did I do? So y'all may not see Porta in here a lot today. Uh huh. Mm mm. Mm hmm. So you want to caramelize these onions first. That's why you got to do them before you add the squash. Because you got to give these onions time to cook down, y'all. Don't just go and throw the, um, the squash and the onions in here at, at the same time. Because and look, I swallowed it. And you need to, oh, look, make sure you chew it up. I like raw squash. Um, I'm just trying to get these onions that I didn't mix in here with the squash too. Thank you. This looks like my eye. Mom, this one is bigger than my eye down by the Look, it's bigger than my eye. Come on. Out of the kitchen. And 
then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to the I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to the onion that'll help it break down more and let it get nice and caramelized what are you making for dinner I am making dinner I'm actually starting early you guys because I told you I was probably gonna be on here around 7 so yeah I decided to come on in early because I was getting hungry and I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and start because I already know how I can be on these live videos. And if I started at 7, I didn't want to have to be on here until, you know, pretty much after 8 or so. So, I was like, let me just come on here now and do it. And then with fish, you pretty much try to wait until that last, last little second when you're hungry because fish is so light so if you eat it too early for dinner you're gonna be hungry <laughs> you won't be hungry so it's like okay i eat this fish now and then later on around uh so if you eat around four o'clock eat some fish five seven seven thirty eight o'clock you may get the munchies again you know what i mean so i don't want to cook it too early and then you gotta figure out that part. Don't try to hate <laughs> So I'm just cooking these onions y'all. Um, I got them on like a medium high heat. Okay. So just gonna let them break down and get caramelized. So I came in. Okay. Hey you guys. Hey Betty. Hey Betty. How you doing? Mom. Hmm? You know what Betty starts for? Like I love the name Betty because I got a Betty boot tattoo and everything, Betty. Cause she is Betty Boot. Yes. So right now we just cooking our onions. Betty. 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 I really wanted to play some music, but actually what's my phone? Let me get my phone. No, I didn't have to. <laughs> and I feel like because it's Saturday night, y'all, we can do a little bit of extra and give it a different um, vibe in the kitchen. But I got to make sure it's, you know, that copyright free music so we won't be getting dings now, okay? I'm going to try to put something on low, but enough of your kind. Y'all can just, you know, sit and watch. But again, make sure you hit that like button. It's okay to sit and watch, but click and watch. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna try to put some music on, okay? But these will take a little second, but don't rush them. Don't, you know, don't burn them, okay? Mom, can you play I Sit and Talk to You for hours? you play that song? Mm -hmm. Why? Nope. Someone came in. Copyright. Where? Copyright where you won't get a copyright. Yeah, because those copyrights, you guys, that is, you want to get all your money. Took from you. You don't want to lose your money on YouTube. We are. I need to just have like a little playlist, you know. Of um, um uncopyright songs. Yeah. They almost there. Once you once they start getting wilted down, then we can go ahead and start adding in the um collage. I love. But this is our first time making this live, though. Okay. So y'all. Um, 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 um. All right, so hopefully you guys can hear it. Mm. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So you can start and you can see it's starting to get like a little caramelized look on it. That's what you're looking for, but they're not done yet though. Mm 
Now you need to add your squash. And all right, y'all. And I'm just sipping on some wine tonight, you guys. And I'm so mad because, like I said, I was in the store yesterday picking up the um the dinner. And with the fish, I could have made like a sauce, like a wine sauce. So fish I sauce. needed some white sauce, white wine to do that. But I ended up getting the red wine. That's why I say it's never good to just shop while you're, while you're hungry or tired. Because after the fact, you'll be like, oh my God, I should have got this. Oh my God, I should have got this. So they're almost there. We're still moving them around. This don't sound like copyright music, y'all. <laughs> that sound like Janae Aiko. Okay. She has a lot of copyright songs. Copyright. I'd be surprised if it is though. But hey guys. Happy weekend. Yeah, happy it's birthday. The, it's the happy weekend. Okay. Alright. Happy so birthday. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in the squash. Oh I No. Oh, I done told you already. What? Cut your heat down a little bit so it won't burn down your onions. Burn down the onions. So burn you the onions. So you won't burn your onions. And this this amount of squash, you guys, is going to make enough for at least four people. Okay? So if you're worried about or wondering how many. So this was about seven or eight squash. Um, yellow squash. So it'll be enough. The only thing I did not get was some, um, well I have some fresh garlic, but sometimes I like using that mint garlic too. We're gonna put the fish on this pan. That's why I gotta sit on here. The fish on that pan? Yeah. Hmm. What is the lemon for? That's for the fish. So, what oh, you're gonna do fish. now, you guys, you're gonna just rotate those. Oops. Rotate the squash and mix it in with your onions. But don't do what I did. You're gonna end up getting them on the ground on the floor. So, in the trash, we don't do five second rule. Where's the music at? I turned it down a little bit. Oh. I can't even hear. I'm trying to make sure I'm careful while doing this. And normally I like to put the top on it just for a quick second because you know the squash is going to shrink on down. Like how we wish our body would just shrink on down without having to work out. Yeah. <laughs> If only our body can just shrink down with the food. Like the food. You don't have to do nothing to it but just cook it a little bit. And do what it's supposed to do. See, the food does what it's supposed to do. Our bodies don't always do that. And that's what I have a problem with. Because we got to go to the gym. Or you got to do some walking. Or do some lifting. But the food, you just put it in the pan. It's going to do what it's supposed to do. It's going to act right. Right? You don't act mm -hmm. right. That's when we get annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> How did the food get all that good stuff? Huh? How did the food get all that good energy? Yeah, it's supposed to. <laughs> we get zero. Huh? We get zero energy. We don't, have, we don't get no respect over here. Yeah. The food just be mean to us. And again, you guys, make sure you have this one alone because you don't want to burn your onions while you're waiting for them to wilt to down. So. And I'm not adding any water in here. Why? Why? 
And then I'm going to wait to season them until they wilt down a little bit. Okay. Um, let me try to get some of this stuff out of the way. So just make sure you got everything ready. Try to get everything ready before I got on here. Just <laughs> okay. moving them around. Let me get the top. Put the top on there while they cook. Get into the pan. Y'all, I said one day, guess what I want to learn how to make? I want to learn how to make some, um, I want to learn how to make some real onion powder. <laughs> so, uh, I've been kind of like researching how to like dehydrate because our toaster oven has a rotisserie setting on it. So, we can um, dehydrate uh, whatever we want to. I just haven't tried it yet because I'm scared. I'm not scared. I don't know if it's going to come out right. But, I've been watching the videos of people dehydrating their onions and the garlic to make their homemade garlic powder because, you know, as the cooks, we do so much cooking. That's one of the things that I don't want to have to keep paying for when we go to the store. So, with the dehydrated onions, because they're so potent, everyone's like, oh my God, they're going to stink up the house and you need to do it outside. And I'm like, well, I can't take this thing on oven outside, so what am I going to do? Am I just going to risk it and just do it in the house or just keep continuing to buy the dang old onion and, and onion and garlic powder? So what y'all think? Have y'all have y'all tried it or is that something that you'll be interested in seeing? Because with the prices of these foods now, whatever cost that we can eliminate, I'm willing to do that. How, how many of you have like a whole bag of onions in there right now in your refrigerator? We got a whole bag of onions. And if I have a whole bag of onions that I can buy and keep them in the refrigerator, I'm quite sure that I can take that bag of onions for one time and then make some homemade onion, uh, powder. onion powder. And it's, it's cool. I feel like that would be cool to make. That and then learning how to make some homemade um, chicken, the chicken soup. Oh, I like chicken soup. Ooh, and I then one more, y'all. I do one more. I'm going to be mad. <laughs> you said we don't do five seconds rules. I know, but you can still watch it. But yeah, I, I feel like that's going to be fun to do. And you guys should be, hopefully you'll be interested in seeing that. But it's going to take a little second to look these down. So don't rush it, okay? They gonna start to get real like jiggly and have like a translucent look to it. So that's how you'll know that they are becoming more done. Just keep rotating them in the pan. That's all you gotta do. But how y'all feel about that? I I really want to do that. I know if me and daddy had a chance to be like homesteaders, that is so fun to us. And, you know, we had the chickens. Y'all. Something like that. Yeah, we don't have the chickens anymore. We don't even have chickens. That's why you guys, if you watch our YouTube channel, 
We don't even have helper tins. We haven't been having the chickens because the chickens are gone, y'all. We haven't. Uh, we just a little heartbroken about that. So the plan is still on go. I mean, you know, to have the farm if we can, but we kind of like over about the chickens right now. <laughs> so as much fun that that would have been to have our own eggs and you know have our meat butchered um so we don't have to buy like chicken all the time it is a job trying to keep those chickens healthy and you know lively and just on a day-to-day -day checking on them so it's a lot that goes into it it's a lot of factors that go wrong with it so it's a whole learning process so if you guys have a farm or if you do the homesteading salute to you see y'all okay but you may see it later though but right now we just put a pause on it if you may have been wondering like where's the chickens because <laughs> i know y'all don't really see the videos coming in that much anymore about the farming but we still we still thinking about it we still have it in the back of our forefront we just had to put a pause on it okay and mom Dribble on down in a second. Right, 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 right. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit. I'm not saying We haven't made this in a while, so this is a good switch up for tonight. And I can only imagine, I mean, honestly, I can kind of imagine if they're saying that the onions will stink up the house if you do the dehydrated ones to make your homemade onion powder because these right here is. It's lighting up the whole area. Water. Like, all you smell right now is the, the smell of the caramelized things, but it, it's a good smell, though, you know? So I don't know what that bad smell may be. But I feel like I may just be, I may risk it just to try it one time. And if it smells too bad, then I won't do it again. I mean, I think that's, like, only fair, right? Because how else would you do anything else that you... Cause I'm, I'm a, I guess I'm kind of like the person, I can't listen to everybody's opinions. Sometimes you just have to try it yourself. Cause that's pretty much how we do with food too. A lot of people will say, oh my God, this tastes bad. Or it's not seasoned enough. But then when you taste it, it's like, what is wrong with you? This tastes really good. Like it's nothing wrong with this. So that's the way I'm, that's the mental state I'm going into it with this. But I'll let y'all know for sure. Okay. <laughs> I will let y'all know for sure. If you see the video come out, then you know it happens. Oh, watch that video when she made that squash and that squash. Mm -hmm. Watch that video when y'all... Guys, watch that video when mom made that squash in a squash, big squash. Yeah. Watch that video. So if you notice, you guys, I haven't seasoned it yet because we're going to... Once the squash gets done to our liking, we're going to drain a lot of the the water off of here. So I don't want to season it now and then I have to season it again. So that's why I haven't that's why I haven't um, seasoned it yet. But like I said, we're going to make some rice too, so stay tuned. I can actually go ahead and start to prep the rice. In the meantime, we have been, well, I've been pretty much been buying the jasmine rice lately. Y'all yeah, know we love, the only rice that we don't buy will be the regular, like, white, long grain rice. Because, I don't know, I guess we just extra, y'all. We just fancy. What is you doing? I'll be kitchen. So, I don't buy just the regular white bag. We either eat like, the jasmine rice, the basmati rice, um, what else? 
Yeah, those, are pretty, those are pretty much the two. Now, if it's an emergency and we have the regular white lights on hand or someone gives it to us, then that's fine. But for us just to, you know, run out and go buy some rice, it's not going to be just the regular white rice. The jasmine, it's, it's really good. What kind of rice do y'all eat? Do y'all, do you eat the regular white rice or the basmati? Like, what's your go-to? We're going to rinse the rice off first. Oh, you guys. So, I did use this this morning. So, if you watched the video from Sunday, um, I did use it. it. I had a better time today with it. And I think the what I did wrong the last time was I didn't use enough flour. So, the flour kept getting stuck to the mat. But today, I tried to use a little bit more flour and it actually did really good. Um, yeah, that's, that's another one of those things you're going to have to practice with to really get the hang of it. Okay, it's looking good, you guys. See, it's starting to shrivel on down. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, you know, it's going to start breaking up. The seeds are going to start popping out. Don't get scared. That's just a part of the cooking process with the squash. Just keep just keep cooking it. Just don't manhandle it. Just don't be stirring it or, you know, recklessly. But just fold it over and it will stay intact. get off those out of Amazon. I said the next little thing I'm about off Amazon is the rice, the rice strainer. You know how you put the rice in there. If y'all seen this, you put the rice in there and then it has the spout so as you're washing it, you don't have to worry about getting the rice down the drain. Do y'all have one of those? Because I mean, I just feel like that would be a better method Normally, I'll just have to hold, hold my hand. But, you know, today I'm using this. But if you have, like, a measuring cup or don't have a strainer and are worried about, you know, washing your rice and rice going all over the place, I think I'm going to find one of those and just put it on our Amazon cart so you guys can get one of those as well. But I normally do about two cups of rice. But today... I got a feeling this rice is going to be good, y'all. This lemon rice to go with this um, fish. So I feel like I want to do at least maybe three cups. That's that's what I'll do. I'll do three cups of rice versus out two. And I told y'all, I don't know what my dang on one cup measuring cup is. So this is my three-fourth cup measuring cup. So what I do is I fill it up. And then add a little bit more in here, and that's my one cup. I done told you, sometimes you got to make improvisions in the kitchen because you can't always find what you're looking for. And, you know, that way you can still be able to cook and not have to worry about, oh, my God, I don't have the right measuring cup, and I can't do this. Yes, you can. You just got to make it work. <clears throat> so this is the second cup. And the third cup. Now, since I just said it's not a full cup, so what I'm going to do is I just put enough in where it's not all the way full, and that will be the total three cups. And I know in here is one cup left of rice. So generally this bag, I can get like four cups out of this rice. So this will be, and it's going to be enough for us. Don't worry. We're going to make it work because we know how to stretch some meals. We're going to stretch these meals, y'all. Don't worry about that. Like I say, the squash makes its own water, you guys. So I don't know if you can see. But it's like water down in there. 
try not to lose anything, but this you get the picture. Okay. But surprisingly, surprisingly it's not a lot today, so I don't really need to drain out a lot, so I'm not going to. So we can go ahead and start to season this up. I'm going to use some garlic powder. And then once you put your seasoning on here, it's going to soak it on up anyway. But depending on how watery yours is, if it's too much, do that. Because you don't want to have your casserole swimming once you bake it. And then you take that first scoop out and it's still a whole bunch of liquid in there. That's what you don't want. You don't want a lot of juice. So that's why, that's why I'm telling you now, if it is a lot, you drain it. Okay? Um... Let me just keep this down here. I'm looking for the onion powder. And of course, okay. I'm going to add some onion powder to this. Y'all don't, I don't measure, so if you're new to our channel, I'm just measuring, I'm just shaking until I feel like it's enough. You know, when you're cooking, you just kind of judge by your eyes. And let me see. I got some pepper right here, a little pepper grinder. But what do y'all put in y'all rice? I mean, rice. <laughs> What do y'all season y'all um, uh, squash with? Hey, Xavier. Look, you have been rocking with us on these lives. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm glad you guys are here to support us, okay? And then make sure y'all still go ahead and hit that like button for us, all right? We've been getting better and better every video. So those likes will help us out, y'all. All right. Um. What else? Now, normally I'll add some chicken, some chicken base, or some chicken stock. Not chicken stock, but chicken bouillon. But I don't have any. So what I'm gonna add. And the chicken, the chicken bouillon will add a little bit more flavor to it, a little bit more. Mm. So I have some of this rotisserie chicken. I know it's a rotisserie on it, but y'all, but sometimes your seasoning, you don't have to use it for what it says. You can go off the deep end <laughs> and put it in something else. And it still won't give it that, mm, that flavor you're looking for. So this is pretty much good on everything. I pretty much use it on a lot of different things. And like I said, if we if I was going to be adding in the chicken bouillon, that was going to be chicken flavor anyway. So that's why I added that uh, rotisserie chicken. But I also have this little Morton's um, all-purpose right here too. I'm gonna taste it. And if I still need to add something, after I just added that rotisserie, then I'll add some of this. I'll add some of this too. But let's get it stirred up good. And like I say, just be careful with it because the uh, the squash is going to break up some, y'all. So don't, it's okay. Get at a quick second and then I'm gonna taste this. But just make sure you keep your workspace clean. You know, as you're cooking, the food is gonna be flying all over the place. I guess that's like one of my biggest pet peeves. <laughs> I be in here, I like this. Just make it look cute. Make sure you're tasting your food now. 
because you can't talk about somebody when they get mad and they say it's not seasonal, it tastes good, if you didn't even taste it yourself. cheddar today it has the white cheddar sharp cheddar and some mild cheddar so three cheeses I'm gonna use that put that in there I don't know what happened to the music <laughs> it just stopped or they put it turn it down Okay, y'all. I don't know if you can hit it or not. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you can hit it. You know, once you over top of the sound of the stove. back from the pantry. We're going to save it for another night. And then, you know, it's going, once you let it sit for a second, you want to get a little char on it. That char on it is going to be so good. I don't know why a lot of people don't like squash. <laughs> Let me know if you want one of those. You don't like the squash. Y'all can eat your vegetables. You know how we tell you over here. Eat them vegetables. But you can't be can't grow big and strong. Or try to tell your kids to eat them and the adults not even eating them, you know? <laughs> How you gonna make the kids eat the vegetables, the squash, and you don't eat them? Y'all know y'all wrong. Y'all know y'all wrong. For whoever it is, you know who I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to take this off, you guys, okay, because it's done. See, it's done. There's no more, like, liquid in there. The onions are pretty much um, broken down. So now we can go ahead and put this together. I'll be having to figure out what my side to work on. And don't worry, I set the hot pan on it, but it's not messing the countertop up, y'all. It's, it's not that bad. I mean, it's not bad. Okay. Can I see? So what I'm going to do is take some out. I feel like I can't see. We pretty much just gonna lay this thing on up. Now, I normally would have some more squash. Um, so you can use whatever size pan. Mm, I don't know, y'all. I feel like I want a smaller pan. I don't feel like I have enough squash for this bigger one today.
I think this may be a bigger size today. Cause these squash was pretty small. Yeah, these squash was small today. So I don't think that this one would be big enough. But this is the one that I normally use, this pan right here. Okay, then we're just gonna layer it up. Just spread it out. And then you're gonna put your cheese layer. So we just rotate it, go back and forth, back and forth. And we do this different way. So we have it where we do the, the cream of chicken soup mix way. I have it where we have it the simple way while well, I'm not doing the cream of soup method. Um, we have it where we have the crackers on top. So whatever floats your boat, whatever mood you're in to eat it, we got it for y'all. Just look through our videos, okay? If you're wondering. Yeah, this is a better size dish. And you want to end with the squash on top. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm back. Where are you back? She oh. says she's back. You can't keep me out this kitchen that long. <laughs> I need some bathroom. Okay. Oh, this looks good. Yeah, so I'm going to just... Have some? Got some cheese? No, 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 no. I want some cheese. And like I said, you guys, are I have the oven on 375, so make sure you got that oven going. Okay? It's already heating up, because we're going to pop this in there. And the last thing. What is you doing? Oh, oh, some I need cheese? you doing? Oh, I need you. Okay, so this is the last layer of squash, y'all. Smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. Can I have some cheese on the top? Look, uh-uh, I get it. Now for the last little layer, I thought I had some crackers in there, honestly, but the kids and ate them all. I had some Ritz crackers. But y'all, don't nothing stay in here long enough. <laughs> you have some um, cereal. Don't nothing stay in here long enough. Someone came in. Okay. How do you come up with your dish ideas? Um, this one, I look, we like squash, and this is something that we used to eat as a kid. Well, I used to eat it as a kid, so I pretty much just try to introduce it to them. Sometimes I be having to think about ways to make them eat certain things. Um, and then this squash casserole is cheesy and oniony, and it all depends on too how you cook it. So. Um, but a lot of times, you know, it's just, uh, just thinking about like different recipes we may grow up on and just making it in a different way or just trying to update it in our way. Cause you already know a lot of times we're growing up, we didn't like certain things, but your taste buds change. And that's why I always tell you guys, don't think about it. Like how it used to be back in the day. Like, Oh my God, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like that. It all depends on how you cook it. And then, you know, of course, just watching your parents in the kitchen, your grandparents in the kitchen, and just, you know, just recreating the past, y'all. Coming up with your own things. Making your family eat certain things that they don't like to. Yeah. That I love squash. That part. And then, honestly, too, this? Xavier, um, a lot of the times, just walk the grocery store. Like, honestly, that's that's how I find out um, different things to cook. I'll just walk through the aisles and I'm like, oh, you know what? This would be good with this or this would be good with that. Oh, that's something new. I want to try this. And your head, your mind would just be going. Okay. This is some smoked paprika. That we got from the supermarket. Yeah. So I put a little bit of smoked paprika on here. And... That's that, y'all. So, I'm going to put this in the oven, okay? And I didn't use that whole bag of cheese. You can add as much or as little as cheese as you want to. So, I'm going to put this in the oven until it gets nice and bubbly. 
and then we're gonna take it out. So I'll give it about uh, 15, I'll give it about 20 minutes. All right, so let's rinse this rice because I want to go ahead and start on that because the fish is going to be last. The fish is going to be last because you want that to be hot and not over dry. So we're going to go ahead and start the rice. It's still sunny outside, so it's a nice Ooh. day. So y'all can eat good with us and then enjoy the nightlife. Mm -hmm. So where we live at, uh, I mean, we don't get to go that often as much as we would, but we like right here by the casino. Yeah, y'all. Um, if you ever wanted to go to the casino, do y'all like you know the casino? I know Daddy was just talking about it the other day. But I was like, no, we ain't probably ain't gonna be able to go right now. But yeah. Are you guys going out tonight? What y'all doing later on? Do y'all even get to go out? No. We haven't we haven't had a date night in a while. And our anniversary is actually this month. So we'll be seven years married, y'all, this month. Yes. Time flies. 2017. That's when we got married. So I don't know what we're going to do this year. I really don't know. We really haven't planned anything. So we'll see y'all. Last year we straight up after like kids. I had found this uh, water circus. It was so fun. Have y'all heard of a water, water circus before? So think of like the regular circus, but they do more like water aerobics and water tricks and up in the air and still like chairs stacked on top of each other. It was different, but it was a good time. But rinse this rice out. So I still haven't did that yet. But y'all, this rice is going everywhere. I don't know. Hold on. Let me find my bedroom cup. Cause that's what I'm talking about. This is what I don't like. Find your measuring cup. Cause it's going all over the place. They have holes. I don't know what y'all did with it. Put it in that bowl. Huh. Why is that already cooked? Mm -hmm. Is that already cooked? Mm -hmm. Is it cooked? Put it back in the fridge. And you're gonna rinse this rice off until it becomes cloudy. Well, as it gets cloudy, that's how you're gonna know to drain it out, to drain the water out. See, see how it's cloudy like that? You want the water to be clear. Pretty much just use my hand and just drain that water off. I don't want to have to keep moving the camera, dog. That's why I'm not really showing you in the pot and the, the sink. But yeah. I need the mashed potatoes that Amy made. You guys have been watching us long enough to see how they do it. Is that right? Yeah. It's we won't have no loud. like button, you guys. Go ahead and hit that like button for us. It's free. Let's get a gold started, y'all. Uh, ten likes. Let's say like the next ten minutes. So, three y'all watching. Let's get three likes on the board. Good. I got three lemons. Um, we 
going to do one for the rice. Got a half of um, one lemon. for the fish. Um, and then just one left over. Got a piece of lemon. Mm -mm. Why? Okay, you guys. So, if you've been watching this, um, you can we make our rice a little bit different than you know pretty much how everybody does. So. What we're going to do first is going to turn your pan on the given, and then I got some, uh, let me use some of this bacon grease right here today. Yeah, because I'm going to use this up since we got it right here. Are you going to use all of it? No. Pretty much just add it that much. Let me see how much it's adding. Can I smell it? Hmm? What do it smell like? Bacon. Let me smell it. Hold on, Mama. Step to the side. It does smell like a lot of bacon. Huh? You cooked a lot of bacon, Mama. Yeah, this the little wine we're drinking on the night, y'all. Yeah, make sure you roll your lemon that like quarter door. Doing. That way it can get it nice and juicy. So when it's time to actually cook it, cook with it, it'd be nice and juicy, y'all. All right, so. I can see. roll them, you make the rice, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to roll them, you make the rice. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Stay right there. All right, so with your oil, you're going to turn it on. And let's give it a little second to, to warm up. I'm rolling them. Alright. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Like that, subscribe. Thank you, John. How you doing today? Hi, John. Happy Saturday. Thanks for rolling with the fam. So if you're just coming in, we're making some um, Parmesan crusted cod. I didn't tell y'all the fish that we was using. Some squash casserole and some lemon rice. So right now we're making the lemon rice. So we have some bacon in here, some bacon grease. And then to that, we're going to go ahead and add our washed rice. I'm trying to make sure I get all of this water off of here. I hear it popping. I hear that. Don't burn yourself now. So what we're going to do is toast the rice first. That's going to give it another little texture to it. Instead of just putting the rice straight into the liquid. So a lot of times we are really about texture. Like we are really big texture people. And how I just explained, you know, taking your classic dishes and making it your own and elevating it. So this is one way to take the classic white rice, but again, we're not using white rice, we're using our um, jasmine rice and doing something different to it. Where it's still an oldie but goodie, an oldie but never a goodie. Alright, so here I'm just tossing this around and you want to turn your pan on high okay turn your pan on high and we can um season it well actually we're gonna go ahead and add the lemon let's do that can i have some lemon mm -hmm. roll your lemons all right so we're gonna cut the lemon in half now i'm gonna take the strainer take the strainer so i don't have to worry about the seeds and i'm gonna squeeze this juice in there. Look at that, y'all. It's catching all the seeds. Oh, that's sour. Mm -hmm. Mom, look it. It's sour. Look it. Oh, it's going to be hot burn. Oh. Do y'all deal with hot burn out there? Does anyone deal with, like, 
acid reflex issues. So that's one of the things I have to deal with, which is so annoying because like lemon or anything like real citrusy, y'all, no, it will tear me up. Yeah, she will break it's, down. It's getting to the point where it's getting real bad. Like I can't have a lot of like spicy food, citrusy food. I'm really not supposed to eat a lot of fried food too. <laughs> but you know we're going to do it because it tastes good. Like, right? <laughs> Stop. Um, so that was one whole lemon. Doing good. The food looks delicious. Thank you. Hi, y'all. I'm glad you guys are watching tonight. This lemon down. Yeah. Alright, so I'm turning the heat down some, you guys. Now, when we toast in the rice, that's kind of going into the cooking time. So, generally, you're going to cook your rice for about 15 minutes. So, I'm going to take away five minutes um, from here. But I need to add some water. So I'm going to take this in here because I know we have the, the water filter and I'm going to fill this up with some water. Since we did about three cups of rice, you're going to need six cups of water. Six cups? Yeah, six cups of water. Are you serious? Yeah. And I want to make sure that this rice has enough lemon flavor, so I'm going to actually use two. I'm going to use both of these lemons. And then I'll save the last one for the garnishment for the, um, the fish. Real juicy. Yeah, cause that's the one I rolled. Yeah. That's the one I rolled over. Can I have this half? No, I need that. Let me use all of it. Mom, I still want some juice too. This juice is this lemon. It's nice and juicy, y'all. I want some juice too. Are you serious? Look at that. All the seeds, y'all. Y'all gotta work smaller seeds? and not harder. I'm trying to tell you. Look at <laughs> Look at Sometimes you don't need all the gadgets that you have to buy. Sometimes it's just the little things in your kitchen that's going to help you, okay? I, I did not plan on doing that. That's just how your brain will start working as you in the kitchen more often. Look at all these seeds. Yes. Can I dump these out? Okay, so I'm going to turn this pot on a little bit more. And because I don't have any of the chicken bouillon, I'm going to add some salt to this, y'all. you got to flavor up your rice. So I'm going to add some salt. I took the seeds out. Hmm? I took the seeds out. I was supposed to add that while the rice was toasting, but... And then, um, just a little bit added measure for the rice, some lemon pepper. So I'm going to add a little bit of that. So, get out of there. Me? I want to make sure we're going to be able to taste it. Okay. So add some lemon pepper. And then, just for some cuteness, y'all. You know you got to make the food look cute and pretty. Pretty. So here's some parsley flakes. I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter. A little bit, that's yeah. a lot. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. 
that much. That's a, not a little bit. It is a little bit. That's a lot. Oh, you got it. That's a lot. Alright. So I'm going to put the top on this. And it's still on high. As soon as that comes to a boil, I'm going to turn it down. So now, y'all, we can go ahead and start on the fish, okay? That's probably why y'all came here. Oh, what did y'all really come here for today? To see how to make the fish, the squash casserole, or the lemon rice? Go ahead and comment down below. Someone y'all came, came up in. in here to see today. Someone came in. Okay. Read it. Someone came in. What y'all really want to see today up in the kitchen? If we still have the um, potatoes on the side, the Emmy made. Emmy. So if they don't want the rice, then they can. Or they don't have to. how you put like your cleaning solution on here and then put your favorite cleaning spray put it in here with some peppermint oil or some type of essential oil oh my god it's gonna smell so good on your counters or even some lemon so you see how we had the the lemon right here they even have like the lemon scented ones y'all it smells so good I could, uh -uh. I take that out this one have seeds you didn't take that Huh? This one has a seed. It does. Actually, I got all this thing on rice <laughs> on the counter that fell out through the strainer. yesterday barely barely making it so I told you I didn't want to get any fish any chicken or anything like that so in our giant they normally have like these manager markdown specials and this was some cod so we love cod daddy loves cod too but these were four dollars and seventy one so each pack has I believe this one may have like two or three pieces in here this one looks like it has about two actually three pieces and this one has about three pieces so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and open these up and clean them and i'm gonna show you how we want to bread these up so that's the first step you gotta clean them and then smell it make sure i inspect this fish okay they do come in these little zeal packs right here which is really nice because that helps to keep it fresh too I'm always in that little seafood department trying to look for a deal, look <laughs> for a special. Y'all know that seafood can be so expensive. And we don't eat tilapia. So that's one fish, y'all, that we do not eat. Tilapia. Yeah. Um, we don't eat yeah, tilapia. So I don't need to go in with the knife. Don't break your fish. Yeah, don't break it. But look how healthy and pretty it looks. And it's inspected. You know, you want to smell it. Of course, it's going to smell like fish, y'all, because Mom, what's it's that fish. last one for? But what you don't want it to smell like is overly, like, a fishy smell. That's what you don't want. Mom, what's that last one So, this is for? how the card looks. What is, looks how, what is it? What is that last one for? That's for the fish. Fish? Yes. You didn't make fish. 
But look at this call, you guys. Look how meaty it is. Ooh, that looks good. It's small. It smells good. It smells good. Okay. So I need to get something to put this on while we clean it. Yeah. Actually, let me take a little break and check the squash casserole because the timer just went off. Mm -hmm. Mom, don't take my dogs. We're going to need a whole little station, y'all, because we got a lot of stuff going on with this fish now. Yeah. I'm going to, um, I'm going to rinse it off and then put it on here. Okay. Hit home. No, right. But I'm just rinsing the fish off with some cold water, y'all. Okay, and then what I like to do to get all the water off is I'll just take my hand and do like this. Because I don't want to mess the fish up. Kinda, you don't want to squeeze it like that. So I'm going to need to take my hand and then do like this. Okay, and then whatever we can't get off, then I'll take the paper towel. And then whatever else I can't get off, then I'll just take the paper towel. And like dab it. Yeah. But don't mess your fish up. Like this. Don't just go in and squeeze it. <laughs> Y'all gonna mess the thing on fish up. We take care of our fish. Yeah. And then our channel, you know, um, it's for a lot of like home cooks and families our and love some like good home cooking. Good comforting meals. Mom. But we'd like to just show you some different meal inspiration. Our channel is Things really that's not food. too complicated, but fun. This was a big piece right here. Yeah, that's a big piece. You actually can probably split this into two. So oh, that's going to be one. Okay. Ooh, look at this, y'all. Look how meaty that is. Have y'all had car before? We actually have a, um, now real quick, too, while I'm telling you. Before I put this in the trash, I normally will spray this before I put it in there because I don't it want... Things to try. Yes, so I'll spray some of this. It's like a vinegar water mix. Cause y'all want to put this in your trash can and then y'all already know by the morning time the whole kitchen will be lit up now if you take your trash out after you eat then that's good but if not just put some little cleaning rinse that little uh packaging out and then put it in the trash okay so just take that bag on fish out <laughs> and put it uh in the trash. Yes, don't take that fish out and just leave it. Don't just take that fish out and leave it um, in that trash can like that, y'all. Okay? Now it's going to be fun. Now this pack has about one, two, three. Three. Well, actually four. So this pack got about four pieces in there for four dollars. And y'all know this pack of meat, this pack of fish, this part originally part was like eight dollars. So we saved about four dollars getting it getting it on the manager special. Sometimes they just put things on sale to try to sell it faster. But there's nothing wrong with this at all. Okay, I'm 
Racing all of them down. I don't know how. I'm going to be able to fit all these pieces on this tray. I may have to use, it may have to use two separate trays of this card because these are some big pieces. Mommy, yeah, how is the best um, treating those cans? Like when you open up your tuna fish, do it the same way. Don't throw those cans away. Open up that tuna fish and put it straight in your trash can. Uh -uh. Make sure you spray them containers down with um, a little bit of bleach or cleaning and then um, put them up. Why do it look like that right there? Look, why do it look like that? That's just the skin. That's the right? Yeah. And it smells good too. Yeah. I mean, okay, I'm going to the last pack right here. <laughs> and I still have one more pack to open. And you see how much fish we have. And this is going to be enough to feed our family of six. It may be enough for everybody to have two or the leftover for tomorrow because I just told y'all I did not have to cook. Because two plus two equals, um, no, because four plus four equals eight. Mm -hmm. So there's eight pieces of um, fish. Yeah. And then in between me cooking the rice too, you guys, I like to just shake it a little bit and move it around so it doesn't get stuck. Go ahead and take this out because it's hot and bubbly. That Straight it. out the oven. Can I do a little hot can dog. I see it? Can I see it? Oh, geez. Ooh, oh, oh, okay. Now, like I say, we make this so many different ways, but this is just the simplest version tonight, so we don't have to be in here all night. Okay, so I'm oh, gonna move this out the way so it can, um, oh, so it can cool down. Oh, M G. in here. This is actually just one whole piece, but I'm going to split this up into two. And even these two right here, it's separating just like this, you can cut this in half. So like I say, depending on your family size, this one piece right here, you can still split it down the middle. It just depends on how you want to prepare it. Okay. Someone came in. Apparently. Yeah. I saw 
You see what I'm doing? I'm still I'm turning mom. I'm just mm -hmm. spinning in the um I just spin in the circle to make myself dizzy. Yeah, I think I am gonna cut a couple of these pieces in half, you guys. Even though the presentation of it is going to look so much better with it whole. And as soon as that rice, you can't see any more liquid on the top, I'm going to cut it off. Oh my God. I, I know you ain't just bump into something in there. I just bought some paper towels <laughs> so I can go ahead and pat them dry. Actually, I did bump into something. Because you're gonna need the you're gonna need some dry fish, y'all. You cannot do the, the breading. You can't bread it. I mean you can't. What we trying to do, you gotta make sure you dry first. Okay. Do you guys keep paper towels in your house? Are you one of those households that you have to have paper towels? <laughs> Is it a must, a necessity? Like, how y'all feel about that? What am I doing, y'all? I'm trying to get this thing off of here. Okay. All right, so what you're going to do is you just want to take your paper towels and you want to pat your fish dry. Can I try? No, okay. Good hair. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So just pat them dry. You're probably going to need to use a couple pieces, but just make sure everything you know, you couldn't get all that water off with your hands without messing your fish up. So that's why you want to use the paper towel to get it all off. <coughs> and if you guys, like I say, are new to our YouTube page, we do have a couple of videos with the card. Um, if you like fish sticks, y'all know the fish sticks, how they have like the, the fish squares, the frozen ones, the fry ones. We made those. And then um, Daddy cut some up. And made them into nuggets. Fish nuggets. Yes. So. Those fish nuggets were good. Yes. Go ask what I'm doing. So you can check those videos out as well. Don't open up that top while I'm cooking the rice. I'm just hoping I didn't put too much water in here. Okay, I didn't. Woo. I said, y'all, it will be the freaking one time I'm on dang on live and my damn rice don't come out the way it's supposed to. I'm going to give it about five more minutes and then I'm going to cut it off. Mom, look. Cause that was more rice than I normally cook. Look. Yes. Look. Okay, stop sliding on the, the floor with them black jeans on. What happens if I slide on black jeans? No. They're black. You're acting like they're white jeans. Mm -mm. I don't even have white jeans. Well, uh -uh. don't do that. Okay, you guys. Mom, it's not working. Now, we're going to have to get our breading station together because what we're going to be doing requires us to have some uh, breading, a breading station going. And the oven is still on 375, guys, because we're not going to be, we're going to cook the fish on 375.
and like I said, we are going to be making some Parmesan crusted fish, and we're going to be using cod. Now, I've seen a lot of people do this several different ways. A lot of them put like the mayonnaise base on top. What they do, they season it, and then um, put like the mayonnaise and then all the seasoning, then rub it on there. But I'm, I'm, you know, we over here different. We got to do things <laughs> different, okay? So we're going to try it this way. This is our first time making this. But I'm quite sure it's still going to be delicious. Um, so what I have is some panko. I had this the other day for, what did I have this for? Um, oh, I put this on some shrimp. I didn't record that though, but I had some shrimp. And this one has, oh no, this is what we put in our meatloaf. Yeah, I'm about to say, what did I buy this for? But I bought another one. I bought another one yesterday. But this one has cheese in it and it's seasoned. So we have two of these. And I'm going to use some of this fish fry. And we're going to need an egg. Okay. I'm going to cut the rice off, y'all. So that way it can just sit and chill out. And then I took the top off so it can just vent out a little bit. Because it's still just a little smidget of liquid in there. And then that way it can just evaporate out without it being overdone. So I'm going to do two eggs. Blue and eggs. eggs. So just think about this like we're going to batter some... Um, chicken breast for like chicken parmesan we're going to do it kind of like that way okay i like how the fish smells yes all right so you're going to need three separate bowls okay so this is going to be one two made this before is this something that you would order at the restaurant like is this something that you would eat go ahead and comment down below i mean not comment down below y'all let us know have you had this before and then you guys we're still waiting on these likes now come on <laughs> We giving you all this free information. It's free, y'all. It's free. Let's go ahead and give us some love. This is how you guys can support our channel. Okay. Let YouTube know that you enjoy what we're doing over here. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna do two eggs. And one of them we're gonna. I'm going to use up the rest of this first. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one in first. And it smells so good. Now, that's why I said I bought another one because I didn't use up the rest of that can. And you see what's left. There's nothing left in here. So let me get the second one. the one I bought yesterday is the whole brand new one and the panko is going to give it a nice crisp on it y'all it's going to give it that like five star look when you go to the restaurant and you like go to your favorite um gourmet restaurant and they bring that to the table Woo! you're making it yourself at home tonight mm -hmm. okay so I'm gonna use so that pretty much was like half the can. <laughs> now, this is a Parmesan crust. And I told you that one has cheese in it already. See, I see that? It says it has Romano cheese in it. 
but I'm going to add some Parmesan. And I had to go back to the store, y'all, because yesterday I'm in the store and I'm like, okay. Once I had got that fish, I kind of like knew what I wanted to make. But I, I said I didn't need to buy any Parmesan because we had some in here. So I looked over here earlier and the kids made spaghetti on the late night last night, y'all. It was the morning. <clears throat> well, I don't even remember. I, London said they didn't use it, but Emmy may have used it. I don't remember. But it's no more in here. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I need this to make the Parmesan fish. So I had to go out and buy another little one. But just make sure you got all your ingredients before you start. That's the rule of thumb, you know. So we're going to put the cheese in here with the breadcrumbs. Okay. Shake it up a little bit because it's kind of like stuck together. So how long we been on here, y'all? We've been on here for about, um, has it been an hour already? <laughs> Quite sure it has been. Alright, so we can do like half and half. Okay, so half the bread, the panko and then half the cheese. And then for the last one, you normally would put flour in here, but I want to jazz it up some. Again, y'all, give us some more flavor. Okay, so flavor on top of flavor. And this is the seasoned fish fry. So this is really good if you haven't tried this already. So I don't really have to go in and add a whole bunch of like obey or anything like that because it's already um it's already seasoned. You know the order of like what we want to do it with, how we want to do it. So, what's the order? I'm gonna go ahead and fluff this rice up. Mom, hmm? I know the order. You do? Yeah. Eggs, this, whatever this is, and whatever this is. Yeah. That's the order. That's the order. No, you take the fish. Dip it in the eggs, then put it in this orange stuff, I don't know what it is. Put it in this white stuff, I don't know what it is. Can I taste the rice? Mm. Can I taste the rice? It's nice and lemony. Uh-huh. Mm. 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 I taste it. Okay. I hope I didn't put a little bit too much salt in it though, y'all. It's good, but we'll see what they say. I hope I didn't add too much salt. But that lemon flavor is good. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> Alright. Cool it off. Just cool it off. Okay. So that's what's gonna sit there, y'all. But the flavor on is on point. Okay. Ooh, it got little softy kickness. It's fine. Ooh. Yeah, I'm that's not made for like it may be a little bit too salty or something, and the nail be like, no, no, it's fine. So I gotta get their opinion. But I don't think it is, but we'll see once they taste it. Mom, that was too much salt, but it was no mom, that was the perfect amount of salt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mom, I'm gonna try this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mom, I'm gonna try this one. 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 Mom, that little um, vein piece. I like to just take it out no. if I can see it. I normally don't really pay too much attention to it, but if it's real noticeable, I will. Alright, but make sure that's whipped that good. I don't know. I feel like I may need one more egg, though. Just put one more egg. Let me do one more egg because we got a lot of fish. Can I crack that egg? I won't. Mom, that. Is this a boiled egg? Yeah. Let's boil. Because y'all 
Uh, we had made some eggs for Easter. Wait, let me see it. I don't even think they had used them all. Can I crack that egg? I got it. I can. I want to. Uh, I want it to crack it. But well, I want you to go sit back because I already told you you weren't gonna be in the kitchen today. Anyway. Yes, I will. Not? I am in the kitchen. Come on out. Right, I'm gonna take this little last piece. How many eggs did you put? Three. Whipping. Something new. Look, that is daddy's annoyingest thing. He sweat I swear he hates the sound of like the sound of um things sounding like the chalkboard. You see how this sound right here? <laughs> I just thought about him because that would drive him nuts. Are y'all the same way? <laughs> Certain sounds, it just sounds like the chalkboard. All right, y'all. So just make sure you do that good. And then for the the panko and the cheese, you want to mix that up too. And it has already like parsley flakes, the the herbs in here. So we just want to mix it together. Mom, why do you not, why do you not use that new the new blender that you got from Costco? I know I haven't used it. Ooh, I'm making a mess, y'all. And like I say, we're gonna be using this pan here. And it's just our regular um, sheet pan, y'all. I'm gonna put this wrap right here because we're gonna be doing the the breading on all the sides. If you just want to do it on one side, you can do it on one side, but we're going to do it on both sides. So I'm going to put it on this rack right here so as it cooks, it can cook from underneath and on top. If you just, if you coat it on both sides, on both sides without the rack, then the bottom is going to get soggy. And that's what you don't want to do. So we're going to help. <laughs> we're going to say a little prayer and make sure this comes out good, y'all. I told you, we're trying this for the first time today. We won't see. Okay. Alright, so the way we're gonna do this, um let me see. It's a little spicy too. Oh it's a lot spicy. Oh my god. What? I'm just gonna lay the fish. What is spicy? Let me tilt y'all down some so y'all can see everything. So I don't feel like y'all can see. Okay, so I have the fish right here. I'm like I say, big. these pieces are really big. Yeah. I feel like I could sprinkle them with a little something, something. Just by tasting this breading right here because that's what I'm really going off of. It's just spicy. It is spicy, but it's not that bad. You don't need this. Okay, so this right here is like kind of like Obey. So I just been having it sitting to the side. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of this, y'all. I'm not going to do a lot. But if you want to, I'm going to add some garlic powder to this too. Cause that didn't have a lot of garlic in it. Okay, so a light little, little dusting. Add some garlic powder. You know, seafood has to have the garlic, y'all. You gotta have the garlic. Okay, you're not making no seafood without it. Okay. And. Sprinkle this onion powder. Now just rub it, or you can flip it. And these are these are some big pieces of fish, so I feel like it can handle both sides being seasoned. 
because I didn't told y'all look how big this is so you want that seasoning to be able to go into all of that that fish okay so I feel like this fish can handle both sides being done
didn't pay for the fish. Yeah. You so, didn't pay for the fish yet. This fish right here in the restaurant, this dish right here alone, probably will cost you Give me my money. $50. About Brand $30. Dollars, $50, depending Thank on you. where you go. What y'all think? Like, to, if you went to Ruth Chris or say one of your other like five star type of restaurants and you get this crusted parmesan fish how much you think you're gonna pay for this ten thousand dollars <laughs> and you are able to make ten thousand four hundred and ninety one dollars y'all are able to make it at home oh that's what i forgot i got some souls too for this fish you guys so don't go anywhere. I stay to the end of the video because I still have some sauce that we're going to be making. So here's what it's looking like so far. Let me see. I'm trying to get all the big straight pieces in here first so then I can like move them around. That's okay. Right, so this is the next that. hugest piece right here. Um. Why would you return this money? You're the money. I see how easy it is to make. So you don't have to. And tonight is Saturday night. You got a date. Or you just want to spice it up in the house. And cook for your husband. Cook for your wife. You can make this. You don't have to pay to get in the video. You don't have to go out and spend $100, $200 on a dinner. And then be complaining after the fact. Like, oh my God, I can't believe I just spent all that on a dinner. And then you can, you know, make it at home. But if you guys um, know, you know, we always going, we always going out to the restaurant, me and Daddy. We always having our little date night. So um, if you, you know, ever on YouTube and just want to see some different restaurant reviews, you can check out. But our, they made a video to go to Chef Ramsey yeah. um, cookout. Yeah, check out our restaurant um, review videos. And then a lot of those dishes we end up making at home for you guys so that way you can see how to do it but like i said this is the big piece of fish so i'm just trying to make sure it's coated all the way Ow. on all the sides <laughs> all right now here go <laughs> Is the smaller pieces so y'all yeah, may have to do two racks of these because that one pan is definitely not going to be enough y'all have to pay to get in the video stop Kate y'all need to pay she said y'all need to pay no all I have to do is just hit that like button that yeah is, that's the money which they not doing right now huh. y'all they're not giving us love we need to see these likes you guys hit mom, that button they're, mom they're not giving us love that's making me sad. Y'all hope y'all heard for them. Y'all making her sad. Cause you're not liking the video. Well, they watch us still, so it's fine. Well, I want them to like and subscribe. Yes, like and subscribe, you guys. So that's making me sad. Cause they're not doing the back stuff. Oh, we said nicely. Okay, so we just gonna keep doing this, you guys. Just flip and repeat. And the oven is on 375. And we're going to cook these for about 20 minutes. Um, so once I get these on the tray, uh, I'm going to make this sauce for y'all. This will fit in this, but it stopped so quick. Look. Oh, oh. Look, see what I'm talking about? So this one is kind of like going overboard <laughs> in the pan. So I'm going to have to scoop this up some. So they can fit. These are some big pieces of fish. I did not know they was that big, child. Child, Lord. You should be saying. All right. I'm trying to make it work, y'all. Okay. What do I need with that? You didn't pay for your fish. Hmm. You need to pay. Where's your money? Are you broke? Yes, I am. I'm very broke. <laughs> Mom, I was yeah. just kidding. No, I am like very 
broke. How much money do you actually have? And then, then for you. Y'all kids ask all that all the time. How much money you have? You tell them I'm broke. I can't get nothing. And they be quick enough to say, yes you do. <laughs> Where the money at? <laughs> Give me that money. No, I don't have any I money. I need some money for my penny like, bank. Cold word, I'm broke, but I don't have what you're trying to get me to get. Okay, you go, actually have money. Go sign. Mom, you have that stash in you. Hmm. Stop hiding stash. Hmm. You know you have money. And you're telling them a story that I'm broke, I'm broke. No money. Huh. Alright, you guys, so I may be able to fit about two more pieces up here. We're going to see. And then I'm going to cut up some lemon wedges so at the end you can still just sprinkle on, you know, your wedge of lemon and make that flavor come through. Just pat it down. So that was just enough like breadcrumbs, y'all. You see how much we use in the, the cheese? And I'm not going to I'm not going to cook it on the stove because um one, I'm not trying to be in here forever. And then two, you if you cook it on the stove, you won't end up having to finish it off in the oven anyway. So that way your your crumbs don't burn. So we just gonna do everything in the oven. Okay. And then I have three more pieces. I'm gonna have to put these on something else, you guys, because I don't want to cram that pan too much. large family problems where you end up having to have multiple pans of foods going on because you can't fit everything on one. should have in your kitchen is some of these cooling wire racks um so like when you're making your cakes or things like this like you're making fish you'll have these and all you have to do is just sit them on top of your sheet pan like that all right so i'm gonna go ahead and just put this batch in the oven and we can go ahead and get started on these you want to cook them for about 20 minutes on 375 and then we're going to check them, okay? Alright, and there they go. So, we're going to go ahead and finish these up and that way I got some more space. And I'm going to set my timer. And I say 20 minutes too, y'all, because we don't have a thermometer. That's one thing. When you, If you have a thermometer in the kitchen, you can pretty much gauge how long to cook those fish because it'll reach the internal temperature that it's supposed to be. But we don't have that. So I'm going to cook it. And that card, like I say, is thick. So 20 minutes will give it enough time to cook all the way through without making it dry. Um, y'all already know every fish... Depending on what cut it is or what type it is, it's going to have its own separate like cook time. When we make our salmon, I pretty much can cook that for about eight minutes or so. And that'll be good where it's like done and nice and juicy. So we're going to do the same thing with this. And that's three, those three eggs was just enough because I got like a couple pieces left. And it's all the egg mixture that I done got, no. It said, the egg said, well, make it enough. Look, don't you, I'm not going to crack no more in there. Got these two little pieces left. And we're going to be good to go with that. 
What time is it? It's 7 o'clock. What time I come in here, y'all? About 5.30? 5.30, 6 o'clock. Yeah, just make sure you pet it down. If you didn't know me better, you would have thought it was chicken. So we're going to do the same thing. Just put it right over there. And I like that they are big and we do have enough because that way everybody will get nice and full. You know, the fish is light, so... But if you are trying to switch up your diet, this would be something that you may want to eat, you know, all the time. It's the fish instead of eating your chicken all the time or your beef. Just roll that up in there and put it right over here. So let us know what type of recipes you guys want to see on live. Um... Try to cook things that are going to be relatively quick and easy, you know, straight to the point. So if there's something in particular that you guys want to see from us, um, just let us know in the comments and we'll respond back to you guys. And it don't have to be like a whole, you know, Sunday meal. It could just be something quick. Alright, so that's the last piece. Look at that, all of that fish is all gone. <laughs> so once we put these in the oven, the oven has already been going for about four minutes now. So you're just gonna have to add four minutes onto the next batch. Once you put however many batches you have in it, just gotta start from the start from that point. And it's going to be messy, so if you think you're about to come in here and be neat and clean, you're not. And I told y'all, we don't use any gloves or nothing like that. It's just um, straight home cooking in the kitchen, cooking for our family. Hi, Mom. Pour that hook today. What did I do? Take a nap. No. Don't take a nap. I don't have to. Take a nap, girl. Are you filming your phone right now? Um, well, I was trying to listen to the music. Can I use your phone? Can I use your phone? Hold on. Can I use your phone? Okay, hold on. Now, the only thing is, I have to dump this out because I can't save it because I didn't use it for the fish. So, you know, those would be the only thing to waste that type of stuff. I'm not going to be able to re- um, You uh, made a mess. I know, that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to be able to reuse those type of things. Uh, wait. You said I can use the sauce. What did y'all do with that sauce that I bought yesterday? What sauce? Hold on, you guys. Mom, I, when you got home with that food, I would have, well, I took a nap. Because I didn't put none of that food away, y'all. I told y'all I was feeling so bad when I got home last night. I just had the kids put the food away, and I'm going to wet and lay down. And I said, yeah. I'm going to lay down and take a quick little nap. That little nap turned into me waking up this morning. <laughs> About, I ain't wake up until like 7 o'clock. I was like, oh my God. And normally, it, it takes me a while to just to go in the room and go to sleep. So I'm only on my phone until I doze off. But I was like, nah. Mama, the so light's done. Yeah, but she don't take the sleep all day. Can I use a coin? No. You said yes. Come on. Come on. Okay. Let's see. Let's You know, when you get that little point, look, all the little nose, the nice nose, <laughs> starting it, but don't think about that. Alright, so I'm just cleaning up a little bit. And then we're going to make this sauce, okay? But let me show you guys something that annoyed me so bad today when I did wake up. So I had um played the number 
I played the three, the pick three number. Do y'all play it like the lotto? So my number was three four zero. I checked the name on website today, y'all. Why it had a nerve? It had a nerve to say one four zero. Can y'all believe that? Look at this. It said three four zero. The winning ticket was one four zero. Talk about mad. This is this is why I hate playing. This is why I hate playing. Be like one number off, two numbers off. And you be like, why? Why is you playing with me like that? Why are you playing with me? <laughs> Don't y'all do the same thing? It's like, please, just let me get, just let me win this one time. We do keep paper towels in the house they don't last because they use them for every little thing we probably gonna have them for like a day or so and then they gonna be gone yeah it's pretty much time for another costco's one for us to go to costco's to do to do some big shopping or some like the bulk shopping we haven't been in a while so yeah it's always pretty much good to do those just to stock up on like the little stuff in the house and i still have like half a bag of the fish fry mix so i'm gonna keep this and i'll put it in the refrigerator now like i said this is a little spicy it doesn't say anything about being spicy but it does have that real lemon in it so yes that's another little added lemon flavor all right y'all so i'm gonna actually go ahead and cut this lemon up like i said this is going to be the garnish one so if you want to put some fresh lemon on top of your fish once you finish cooking it this will be that one And let me find the sauce because I don't know like I say what they did with it. So this is what I bought right here. It's some um, hollandaise. Have y'all tried this before? Like I said, I was in the store, y'all. Last night, my brain was not working because what I would have did was bought some white wine and we could have made like a little butter sauce with some white wine and lemon and then drizzled that right on top of the fish. But this is still good, though, the holidays. So we're going to go ahead and just whip this up. It's one of these little packets right here. And we're going to be good with this. It's going to be fine. Um... You're going to need some milk and some butter. Okay. Some milk and some butter. So I already have the butter out. <clears throat> mm. Alright. So let me move this over here. We gotta cook this on the stove. So this 
hollandaise sauce is going to drizzle on top of the fish once we done. But what kind of sauce do y'all like on y'all fish? Y'all like tartar sauce or like a wambalot? Like what's your go-to um, sauce when it comes to your fish? What do y'all like? Let's move these out the way. Now, I don't know what happened to the music. Saturday night vibes in the kitchen. And ladies, if you um, you know this little outfit right here is from Boo Boo. I did a a, a clothing haul on my channel. So if you're new here, I also have my personal page, which is I actually just changed the name. It's called Plus Size Mommy Makeover Plus Size. And then I also do my own nails too. So I have a nail channel as well. So aside from us cooking, we do other things on the side too. So make sure you check out our main page, Roll With The Fam. Go all the way to the bottom. You won't see our other pages on there too. So subscribe to that as well. In case you ever be wanting some, you know, cute things to wear in the kitchen. On top of our merch, our Roll With The Fam merch. We have aprons and t-shirts and hoodies, um, cups, bags. Y'all, we're going to get you covered. We're going to get you straight in the kitchen, okay? So, for the hollandaise sauce. So, let me get the milk. I really don't want, I didn't know if it took milk. So, I'm going to take the milk for the cereal. I don't want to use all that milk up for this cereal. But, I just bought a whole, another little gallon of milk right here. Um, let's see. We need one. So we're gonna need two cups of milk for this. Hollandaise sauces. If you ever see like those eggs Benedict and it has that yellow sauce on top, that's what this is. But it's you can use it on seafood, on fish. If you ever see like that thick yellow sauce that's topped on top of the fish, that's what this is. And it's so good because it has like a nice lemony flavor. So even on your vegetables, like your asparagus, you can just top that hollandaise on top. And then we're gonna put our butter. So I'm gonna use the rest of this because it says about a half a fourth cup. Um, I don't play measure. So we're just gonna add the rest of this. And then once this heats up, we can um, add in our pack. Four more minutes on that first batch of fish. Now it's between 20 and 25 minutes. So we're gonna check it at this 20 minute mark. But that's what we're gonna have to get to is a thermometer. Do you guys use a thermometer like when cooking your fish or chicken? Like how do you know when yours is done? Now for the lemon, you want 
cut your wedges. So if you never cut a wedge or need help, you're gonna take your lemon and then you're gonna cut it in half. Okay. And this is real juicy because we didn't already rolled it. So now that you have your half a lemon, then you're gonna take your hand and you're gonna hold it on a diagonal. Okay. And then keep rotating it. Just hold it on a diagonal. Instead of holding it straight, your knife, you want to hold it to the side. And then turn it around, hold it on the diagonal, and then do it again. And then there you go. You have like your little, your wedges. Okay. So this is so you can be able to squeeze your fresh lemon on top of your fish once you're done. Check the sauce right here, you guys. So they say bring it to a boil once. tricky because you don't want it to you know break on you but they are real convenient you know for a night like this when you don't want to be in the kitchen for a long time but you want something good there's nothing wrong with those little pockets you don't have to make everything from scratch and that's one thing we try to show you over here semi can be just as good as homemade so you know sometimes you don't have time to Make everything homemade as you want to. You gotta just do what you can. But this sauce is gonna start to get thick. Y'all see that? And we're gonna use this to put on top of the fish. And like I said, if we had some vegetables, you can use that too. And again, this is Hollandaise sauce, you guys. So if you for the holiday souls, that's what it is. It's gonna get a fish a nice little lemony flavor. So I'ma I'm gonna keep that on low. I'm not gonna turn it all the way off. What is this? That's lemons. Can I have okay, So the timer just went off. So we're gonna go ahead and check the first batch of fish that we put in there. Because okay, that's all we're waiting on now to get done. You can tell it's, it's getting cooked or it may be done because it's already starting to like pull apart and separate a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and check it. Because you don't want no overcooked fish y'all. That's the only thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to take this one right here and I'm going to cut it in half. Oh, that fish is good. Yeah. Is it done? I'm checking in the nail. Can I taste it? Mm -hmm. Can I taste it? Mm -mm. Why? Not yet. Hold on. Can I just taste the piece? Mm -hmm. Let me taste. It I looks like it's done, y'all. I just want to make sure. I'm trying to get it up. Can I taste it too? 
I'm gonna give it five more minutes. I'm gonna give it five more minutes, y'all. Just to make sure that the inside is cooked all the way through. Because this was a big piece of fish, okay? But once it gets nice and opaque, like it's not clear anymore, but it's more like a creamy color, that's one way you can know. And you're going to see that it's the flakes, the fish is starting to like look in layers. So we're going to give it five more minutes and then we're going to take it out. But we can go ahead and start plating everything. So once it does come out, we can just go ahead and put the sauce on it. Squash casserole. Alright, y'all. So this is the squash. Don't forget about that. We're gonna go ahead and start plating everything. Here's the rice. So we have the lemon rice. Let me fluff it up so y'all can see. But once you take your, once you fluff up your rice, you just take your fork and just start fluffing it up. Okay. So that's how it looks fluffed up. So we're going to take a spoonful of that. So like from the fish, like I'm still tasting it in my mouth now. I can taste the um, the fish fry on it uh, and the, the coating. And when I lifted it up, all the sides, it didn't fall off. So that's what we're looking for. Because um, that was the, that would have been the worst nightmare. You did all that hard work to, to braid it up. And then you're not able to, to get that presentation that you're looking for. Now we're going to take the squash. That nice cheesy squash. And then you see the consistency in there, you guys. So it's not liquidy at all. It's the right consistency. That's why I was saying that, you know, once you, once you cook it, if you see a lot of water in it, make sure you take that out. to get it off of here I'm just going to 
use a spatula. So this is what it's looking like without the sauce on there. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like with the sauce. And if I taste the fish, you're just going to drizzle it on there. Okay. So that's how it looks with the sauce. But... That's our little easy peasy Saturday nice night dinner. We have our lemon flavored rice right here. We have our squash casserole, our cheesy squash. And then we have our Parmesan crusted cod fish with that holidays on top. Okay. So let me show you how the fish looks. Is it hot? Good. Good. Okay, so we're going to take a bite. I just want you to see how the fish is. But look how it's looking on the inside. Is, my, is the food ready? Yeah. Oh, it's nice and seasoned. I don't want um, squash though. No, you are. Why? Look her now. Talk about some shit. I don't want no squash. No, she better eat a squash. I'm going to take the squash. <laughs> Taste of that rice. Now you can put the holiday sauce on your rice too, y'all. But yeah, I just wanted you to see the fish. How it looks with that sauce on it. Now we like extra holidays, so I'm gonna put a little bit extra on here. But the crunch of this fish, ooh. Yeah, that fish is good. That's good though. Are you still on your phone? Why is she trying to take my phone? Because it's technically my phone. That's good. So, yes, give this fish about 20 minutes on 375 and put that sauce on top. But make sure you guys go ahead and follow us on Facebook, follow, subscribe to us on YouTube. Get those likes up, those thumbs up. We're going to be coming back to back to back with our regular scheduled videos at 11 o'clock every other day or so just look for us just look for us okay but 11 o'clock is when we do schedule our posts on youtube and facebook we on it all the time okay so we'll see y'all back for another video because you never know what's coming up next this was good y'all but we'll see y'all later bye Yes, I'm about to finish this while still nice and hot.